Hey y'all, my name's Taylor and I just recently purchased this Bumblebee by Blue Bonnet Wheels. I think it's a really um, nice, quaint beginner wheel. I just started spinning, so I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I wanted to do a quick little review just on the assembly and uh, treadling. Um, I don't have any fiber with me to actually spin to show you how that works, but I figured this would be a good start. So anyway, it came unfinished, so I had to use a finisher uh, all over the wood. I used Danish oil as recommended by Blue Bonnet Wheels. So I just put one coat, um, I left it dry overnight. Um, I did this immediately, uh, not 24 hours after I got the wheel, again, as recommended. Putting this thing together was relatively easy. It comes with the DVD, and it shows you how to put the flyer on, put the bobbin on the flyer, how to adjust the scotch tension, um, to put these, um, these on. And I, I kind of like the treadling on that on this. Um, I don't have a lot of experience, um, but I think it's nice. If you can hear a little bit of the squeaking, I'm not really sure if that's because I haven't screwed in something correctly or it's the metal up against the wood. Um, regardless, I think I'll reach out to Blue Bonnet Wheels. Um, Jerry ha and I have been in correspondence about the wheel. Uh, and they're very friendly people. Uh, highly recommend doing business with them. They're very, very patient and understanding and kind. Um, so I think if you're a beginner and you're looking for a relatively inexpensive wheel, um, I think this would be it. Now, I will tell you that down here at the bottom, these little buttons, behind those buttons there are two little screws. And those screws were a pain to get in there. Now, I'm not sure if that's just my general not knowing how to screw something in properly um, or if it was just really tight. I'm not sure, but it took me a good hour to try and figure out a way to get those in there. So that was a little bit difficult. And overall, I think if I had another critique for Blue Bonnet Wheels as far as the demo on how to put this thing together, um, is to where there should be space in between this little knob here. I'm sure there's a more scientific actual name for that. But this right in here, um, the, the person in the DVD had mentioned space um, in between here and here. And I'm a little bit confused on that because as you can see, there's a little bit of room here and it kind of goes back and forth and I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be or if I need to adjust. Um, that's something I'm going to reach out to them about. And then same with this down here. This I think is where the squeaking is happening right here. Um, so I'm wondering if, if I pull back and forth. I can't really. There's not really a lot of room in there. Should there be room? Should there not be room here? Um, these were, this was a little tricky to get on, but once it was on, it was, it was on. Um, so again, those are my little critiques and praises about the Bumblebee wheel so far. Um, hopefully I'll come out with a review about the actual spinning on the wheel. I'm very excited to use it as a beginner. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below, and I'd be happy to help. Thanks, Blue Bonnet Wheels.